today we are starting the solar adventure. The very long, drawn out solar adventure. We are here at the service dock and we are going to run a little test because there's some questions on whether or not we should go in series or in parallel and everybody seems to have a different idea about it. Yeah. And I don't know, I think there's only one way to find out. Test both. Do a test. <laughs> that right behind me we have part of our solar kit from the RV the Outback controller the go power two 160 watt go power solar panels we've got a rely on 100 amp hour battery down here that we're testing basically the idea is shade one square shade multiple squares shade the whole thing and see what happens when we do parallel versus series, series. Yep. you got it <laughs> Okay. And we got Cole here to help us. He is the one of the electrician guys here. We're going to start it out. We're going to hook it up in parallel. Okay. Uh, straight up with the panels. Explain what parallel is again. Uh, we basically have both of the panels coming in separately. Separately. Into the own power source. Okay. He's going to pop this fuse and it's going to start bringing power in. Oh, and like there's that old familiar face of Kent. Yeah, you guys ready? <laughs> yep. In theory, the maximum we could bring in would be about 20 amps, right? We also have an amp clamp down here attached to the battery, so that way we're getting a reading from an amp clamp and the outback. All right, 15 amps, that's pretty good. Okay, we're gonna tilt the panels. We won't have this option on the boat, but we did on the RV, and we'll bring in the maximum amount of sun. Hold oh, on, put it back down, put it back down. Should go back up. Uh, you want one. The gun show. Oh, um, 15.16. 16.1, 16.2, Come on, lift a little higher, boy. She's got the arm strength. 16. Okay, no, back down. Right. Good. That seems to be the sweet spot right there. Good job. Now you just have to stay there all day. <laughs> all right. So that just increased our output by output by some sort of percentage. Yeah. That's great. We won't do that math in our hands. <laughs> nope. All right. Okay. So now we just need a shade. We got. One piece of cardboard. We're right now reading 14.6. We're shading approximately one cell, and now we're at 8.4. Okay, take the cardboard off. Cardboard off. 14.9. And then put it back on. Woo. Okay, we're gonna try a different cell. All right, because right now we're in parallel. Right? Yes. How do we have our s in, in the RV? We had we it in series. series. We were in series, okay. All right, here we go. I'm gonna do a different cell. Same thing. Okay, 7.8, I'm moving over to this cell. Same thing. All right, I'm gonna do half, half and half. That's a little bit better. He's gonna simulate a boom shadow. 11. So it drops down pretty good. But we're also taking out multiple cells. Try a diagonal, maybe. About the same, 11. Yeah, it's the same. Well, yeah. knocking out one cell completely did the most damage. Because that gave us eight. Whereas this. Yeah. I'm shading the entire panel diagonally here, and we're at 11.4. Okay. Let's try a little bit of bigger one. Ah. It's a little bit wider than this one, see? Now we're doing 9.7. So we're going to try both panels now? Yeah. <laughs> 3 amps, 2.6. Wow. Oh. Holy moly. <laughs> so a little bit of shading is a lot of damage. Yeah, across two panels. Across the panels. AKA a boom on a sailboat. Although our boom is going to come out like this while we're resting. So in theory, you won't block more than one. Yeah. What if we did a diagonal across both? 3.7. Yeah, I gotta show this one thing. It basically knocks, if you do this, it knocks out the panels completely. Which is one full square on each panel. On each panel. We go down to 1.4, 1.5. Ouch. Wow. In theory, that, that would not really happen naturally. 
But I mean, you know, if, if on an RV with trees around, it could. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely could. Phew, all right. A whole half panel, here we go. Half panel, okay, hold on. One, one square or a whole half a panel. We're at seven. Yeah, same. Yeah, 6.8. Okay, so we're basically going over from parallel to series. Okay. Right. Negative, positive. Negative. negative, negative. Positive, positive. You make okay. it seem so simple. Yep. Sun's directly overhead now. Yeah, directly <laughs> overhead now. We took a little, little lunch break. Uh, directly overhead, we are now wired in series and ready to start casting some shadows. We are reading 16.5. All right, shading one panel, knocks it down to 5.0. Ouch. Yeah. Now we're gonna simulate rigging, barely shading anything. All right. And we're reading 15.6. Okay. So a line or a halyard or something's not gonna get in our way too much. No, definitely not. But if we shade a solid panel. Whoa, that one knocked it out completely. Maybe because I'm right on the edge. Like I did instead of the corner. And maybe because it's like slightly over here. Let's see. Jeez. Oh yeah, that little turn just went to 2.1 now. Yeah. Wow. Obviously, those little diodes in there that break up the panel to keep you from losing the entire panel when something gets shaded. Don't seem to be working. Well, or just not well enough, because I could shade this one, look, and it's back up at eight, and that's across two different little cells there. Damn. I mean, it's interesting. Shading definitely is bad, Ooh. unless it's a little skinny line, because that doesn't do much. Boom simulation, okay. Yeah, knocked them out. Yeah, going knocked across out. both panels, and then, let's say it was just across the one. Didn't change a whole lot. Yeah, one. To be completely honest, that test did not go the way we expected it to. We thought we were gonna get a little better performance. We knew shading was gonna knock some out, but not quite that bad, especially in a series, because on the RV, we were seeming to get really good performance. So anyway, we've got a couple of Kiro Sierra something like that, uh, panels that just cats has. We're gonna swap those out, do the same test on those, and just see if we get any different numbers. So maybe it's our panels, maybe the diodes are bad, maybe it's all the same. We shall find out. Under 40, so they're 20 watts smaller than the Go Power ones, or 20 watts less than the Go Power ones we were testing, so our reading should be... Slightly less. Slightly less, but pretty close. We are setting these up in parallel first, just like we did last time. Except for we're going to have to wait for the wait sun. For Big old cloud up there. Feels nice, though. We're, we're bouncing all over the place right now because the sun's intensity is coming and going. Yeah, lots of clouds, lots of clouds, but we're not really sure why these are producing more power, but we think it's because two hours ago when we did the first one, Two hours ago when we did the test on the go power, it, the sun wasn't straight ahead, so that, you know, straight above. So that could, that's most likely what's happening. Yeah, this isn't like a, it's the sun, it's nature, so it is yeah. changing. We can't, it's not exactly the same. All Let's right. Let's do this shading stuff. Right after. Sure, uh, single square? Yeah, single square. Okay, so from 20? From 20 to 10. It's so about the same, we're yeah. losing half. Basically lose the whole panel. Another single. Right in the middle, about the same. About the same. Sure. Boom test there is our shadow. And we're down to three. 3.2. All right. From 19. From 19. So no matter what, that shadow is rough, man. Yeah. Terrible. What if it's just over one panel? Okay, let's see. 11. That's gonna be pretty realistic in real life as the sun's up high in the sky with the boom hanging over one of the panels. Yep. 
That thing is 17 right this second. Yeah, almost nothing. Okay. So That's nice to know. Now, we switch it over to series. Breaker. We are now in series. We're going to run the quick test again. Single cell coverage. Oh, Wiped it. Wiped it out completely. Okay, so it's not just a Go Power. It's any panel. It seems to be the, the Kyocera, the Go Power. It, if they're similarly made, it's probably the same issue. We got 7.0 in the middle of two cells. 13. If we do it right on the edge of four cells. All right, one panel. What are one we reading panel, over there? Boom test. We are reading 1.2 amps. Woo! All right, we're gonna give a two panel boom test. 1.1 yowzas. In other words, we have our solution. The boom is really gonna cause some power problems. And there's no way we're gonna go in series. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No way. <laughs> no. no way, from this test. Colt okay. does not advise going in series. 17.3. That's kind of the average for these panels here. All right, boys, swap them back out for the Go Powers. Let's see what's happening. All right, for a direct. Just for same time, same sun overhead thing. 16.5 is what we're reading. We've decided that it's mother nature. It's very close reading to what we had in the Kia Serras, but unless we're in a controlled environment, there's no way we're gonna get the proper test with the proper numbers and the exact maximum output of these panels. So we're gonna say they're pretty darn similar in the way they've acted in this test. Which was about shading. About shading, yeah, and exactly. And about being in series or parallel. Series or parallel, and obviously, Without a doubt, Parallel's way to go. Parallel, Parallel is the way to go for a boat. Now it worked great in our RV. Series worked wonderfully in the RV because we were able to tilt the panels and there was nothing in the way. So in series might work for your application, maybe a motor yacht, but a sailboat with a boom and rigging and everything else everywhere. Definitely no way. Definitely no way. Definitely no way. All right. All right. Test concluded. I see. Or ice cream. We should ice go get cream. ice cream.